Look at it. Is it in there? I got, look at it. Watch. All the way solid. <laughs> kind of hurt, though. Ow. Oh, Want to try it? No. Come on. Okay. You've got earrings that'll hurt it. Um, Let's see if this side just is good. Yeah, yeah it's pretty oh good. Your come out of try that. No. Come on. Shit. Try it. What's up guys, welcome back to Project Romero. If you're just tuning in, I'm Michelle Abadi and we are here with Brett from Insane Power here in Henderson, Nevada. And today we are assembling the heads for my 2011 uh, Camaro, which we are calling the Gurmero. And so uh, we've got these heads back from KTEC. They've got a part and polish, they've got a bat radio on them. And that's about all that I know. So we're gonna let Brett go ahead and take it over. I was very impressed by that. So impressed that Axel got up and walked away for the box. <laughs> she's like, so, she's got this. Yeah, she's got this. <laughs> so in today's Corona cornhole virus, we were gonna assemble these heads. We did not cut the valve job here. K-Tech was nice enough. So I'm gonna show Michelle exactly what that means by having a radius valve job. We're gonna put the valve in. We used a little tiny bit of lapping compound on the valve. We had a little bit of lube and we're gonna put it inside this there, and we're gonna give it a little stick, and we're gonna give it a little. No, we are not starting a fire. So we're gonna look now, Michelle, on the face of the valve, and you can see that nice, awesome, yeah. light gray mark on the seat. That is the perfect imprint of where the seat is sitting on the valve. Got okay. Yep. So as we can see here, we also have a nice gray area and we can see the 30 degree. This would be the 45 degree, then a 60 degree, then a 70 degree. So those are our fifth Remember our 15 degree angles. Sort of. Yes. So <laughs> awesome kind of, sort of. way to remember. So <laughs> K-Tech did an amazing job on our valve job. See, the only time a valve gets to take heat out of it is every time the valve touches and seals, it transfers heat from the valve to the head. Okay. So the width of the seat determines how much area is touching. Okay. The thinner the seat area, the better the airflow, but the quicker the valve job wears out. Okay. So normally on an intake valve, we're running about 40 thousandths. And then on a really high performance, like a pro stock car, it'll be as low as 25 thousandths. Okay, and an exhaust valve will be 40 to 60 thousands, even on a stock car as close as 100 thousands. Wow. Okay, so now that we know the valve job is cut perfectly, which we knew it would be, but we want to show it, we're going to go through the process now of assembling these heads. So I'm going to have you take each. We're going to use our Lucas assembly lube yeah. product yeah. Yeah. plug. So, plug. So we're going to have you take each valve out okay. and we're going to lube up each valve. Okay. I've already done it earlier today, getting ready and cleaned everything. For all you internet warriors that are going to say how they clean. I don't know how much to put on here. Well, I mean, we're just lubing it. We're not making it smergeable underwater. So. How's that? Yeah, so let's let's just kind of, so. My I've got enough for all of them. Yeah, so, yeah, so. We just want to put a light coating okay. over the valve, yep. okay? Not make this thing smurf blue, okay? Yeah, we're just going to push it wanna make sure it right inside, okay? All of them? All of them, okay? okay so why we lube this up is so when the heads are sitting and waiting to be put onto the motor, it doesn't go dry. You never want to have metal rubbing on metal, even though we have the little bit more. I mean, we, we are product plugging assembly lube. You know, we need to put an adequate amount so that it does. Is that good? Yes. Okay. 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 Make sure. Take it and make sure. Maybe a little bit more. See? You know, this we do get sponsored by them. We can put a little bit more on that. It's, that's not my hesitation. The hesitation is I don't want to do it wrong. There's no wrong here. I've only ever done one. Okay. In my life. So, there you go. Okay. So as Michelle's lubing that up, the head's been cleaned earlier today. So we have all new stainless steel valves in it. We have our CNC ported head. We cleaned it. We surfaced it. Everything's beautiful. So, so I've only ever done this once and it was on my legend car, but I didn't do this. I just put this stuff on the thing and did the back. You lapped it. Yes. I lapped it. Yeah. yeah. So my dad showed me how years ago we would lap every valve to make sure. But when, as machines and machining processes got better and more accurate, there's really no reason to do all of them. So. Oh, really? Yeah. So while Michelle is doing that, I'm going to show guys some stuff on heads. Guys, when you get a professional head like this that's been CNC ported, as Anthony can show in, you can see light right here 
through the rocker arm bolt, okay? The head has been ported and cut so much, it actually broke through to the bolt hole. It is very common, a lot with CNC ported heads or even hand ported heads to break through. Doesn't mean the head is junk, it's no good. You just gotta remind yourself to put sealer on the rocker arm bolt so it doesn't suck oil down into the port. A lot of people will not do this, get oil to be pulled down it. There's a lot of depression inside the port and a lot of it will be pulled oil through that little tiny break right there, through, even though there's a bolt in it. You'll get smoke earring startup or even worse, it cause detonation and could cause the motor to break. Are those the, are those the brass valves? The those guides? are the guides, yes. Cool. So the guides go in the head to keep the valve as it moves straight, Right. okay? Can, do they like wear? Yes, they do. Yeah. So if the rock around geometry is not correct and the head's not set up correctly, that'll cause pre, yeah. Yep, so, got it. So we're gonna give this, make sure we're getting all good, nice lube. You're doing a great job. Yeah. Double checking. So, okay, sure. we got two more to do. Yeah, didn't you do that one? I didn't do these yet, I'm waiting on you. I thought you did one. You I, did, oh, uh, pull it uh, out, let's see it. Pull what out? That one, I thought you did that one. See, I put a little bit of lube on that one when we lapped it. Okay, sure. so keep up, keep up. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. You guys want to go grab some of this on lucasoil.com? Go get it. It's called Racing Assembly Grease. Yeah. Brett uses it on like everything. Every so yeah. I would put it on my breakfast if I could. And I did use it even before Lucas started to help us with it because I do believe in the products I use. Yeah. All right. Please send more. Yeah. Okay. Don't so, stop sending, sending it. Yeah, so. <laughs> okay, so. All right, so now we have our... Valves all in, we have a little bit of lube on them. So we're gonna flip the head over here. Okay, so the next setup would be. Oh, then they stay in. And they stay in. We have these nice little pillows right here. We can put underneath each spot. So when we go to put our seals on, the valves stay in place, okay? Yep. I've already called, done in what's called setting up the springs earlier when you guys were getting here. And I measured our installed height, okay? So our installed height is from where this sits to where the keepers keep the spring located here. Okay. Every spring is set up with an installed height and then an open height and then what's called a coil bind. Okay, so these springs, if you went over here and you measured all the way down to where they bound up Whoa. and measured it, yep. the coil bind. So at full coil bind, we have 725 pounds of spring pressure. Okay, is that a lot? so that's all. It's a good amount. Okay. This is a hydraulic roller camshaft. Yep. So on a solid roller cam, we'd use a lot more. Okay. We're going to set these up and we're going to have 150 pounds right there on the seat. Okay. Okay. So what we're going to do is that is to control the hydraulic lifter that will, in the next episode as we're putting them in, will stay on the camshaft and have enough spring pressure to hold it to the cam at high RPMs. Okay. Perfect. If you try to run too much spring pressure, you'll collapse the little tiny thing inside the lifter, the spring, yep. inside it. So it's a very fine tape. Guys like me, I want to run as much spring pressure as I can always. And if you push it on a hydraulic too far, you'll screw it up. It. So about 150 to 160 work very well on a street application. If it was a full out race application and we were going to take it apart, Often. maybe at the end of each year, I would push it to 180 where I just change out the lifters. We don't have that luxury. We don't want to just stop throwing parts away. So at 150 and about 450 pounds of open pressure at full cam lift. So, so we'll start out at 150. Then as the cam opens up, it'll go all the way to 450. Got okay. Yep. So, so already set that up. So, so, so you, you cannot adjust this. You would have to get a different spring. We, uh, different spring or these are the keepers. Okay. These little suckers right here stay on the valve and they go inside here. Yeah, I remember. And they that. hold the spring to the valve. Okay? Yep. Okay. Now they make 50 plus or 50 down. That moves this retainer starting okay. point up yep. or down 50. So there is some adjustment. Also, I'm going to add this 30,000 spring uh, shim yep. underneath the shim to compress a little bit more to get a little bit more pressure. Yeah. So we have some adjustability. Okay, yeah. so the next thing we're gonna do is put all these springs on, these little keepers on down here like this, and they per fit perfectly over the guide that we installed. Does that come as like a whole kit, or you have to buy everything individually, or? Um, 
it all depends. We sell it as at one of our cam kits, like okay. we're going to be putting in yours. Yeah. So the springs come with the, re the retainers, the bases, the springs, and the shims you buy separately. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So we're going to shim these all on here. So we're going to be using uh, the Insane Power Cam, right? Yes, it is. So, um, our cam is made by Comp Cams, yep. and it's made for my specifications. Got it. We will go over that when we put it in. Uh, we're not going to hide anything. We'll tell them all the numbers that we are using. Yep. Um, so I'm going to give away some of my secrets here. Michelle is lubricating up our valves and we're getting these heads assembled. We have our ID locators in place and we have our positive Teflon seals right here. Right here. Let me show everybody. This is a Viaton seal, spring loaded and it keeps oil and from going down the guides and smoking. They are put onto the valve as so and then tapped on to the guide. These are positive seals, so they go on with quite a bit of press. Um, it's a 500 outside diameter on the guide, and it takes a nice seal on the valve. Holds them nice in place. And then when Michelle's done lubing that one up, I'll put the seals on while she assembles this head. So we have our springs right here. As you can see with the nice ID locator, it holds the spring nice in place. So we will go down the line and put these beautiful pack springs all together with our rem finish. The rem finish is the polish. These are not chromed. It's actually a finishing process done to the spring to help it uh, be a little stronger. That's a simple way of putting it. That is one beautiful looking head right there. That looks very nice. Axel is not thrilled about the virus, as you can see right here. He's still bored. He's self-quarantined in. To miss, ah, the world's coming to an end, okay? Do I turn this on now? Look at, look at. Magic. Magic. Black magic. Black magic right there. I'm green. All right. Are you done lubricating? I'm totally done. Okay, so yeah. grab this head. Let's switch. You go over there. Do you remember how to do it from last yeah, time? Yeah, except the, I don't remember the pedals. Okay. One's up, the one's down. I mean, you got a 50-50 shot. I don't know if that goes somewhere right. special. No. So we're gonna put I these. know that thing, he pushes it down, and then I put the little keepers in, yeah. and that's about all I know. The front part of the pedal? Yeah. Up. Back side, down. Okay? Yep, back so, is down. Yeah, got it. So. We're gonna bring it down evenly over the valve. Yep. Okay. Yep. We're gonna open up our little keeper bag like so. Okay. Okay. We're gonna bring this over so it fits in. Yep. That's in. Fill that up a little bit. What if we didn't have one of these machines? They, they, there's machine. different versions of it. Oh. Like right there. It pops out on me. We've got a trusty little magnet. Yep. They have a uh, nice little seat lamp versions of it. Oh. If you didn't have that, like doing it at home. Yeah. Probably going to be pretty difficult. Yeah, right? Yeah. How much pressure do they need? Well, have we have 160 them? pounds on the seat okay. and 500 open. Oh. We have a lot of pressure yeah. for, for a hydraulic roller. Yeah, I'm glad you're singing them. We're gonna stick with racing, okay? Okay, deal. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so. I normally do this really easy, but I'm, I'm, sh I'm camera shy today. Yeah. You know, I'm a very emotional guy. It's okay, so when I can't do it, yeah. I don't want to think about it. Yeah, yeah, so. Yeah, no problem. I'm doing this to help you, okay? Yeah. Yeah, you go. So, there you go. So. Oh, you got it. Yeah. So now, first one's always the worst because I can't put this even, and that's will help. There you go. Oh, so you make it level, so then the machine is easier to explode. Yeah. 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 If you level everything, because Brett's tied, it works way better. <laughs> so. Yeah. So, Perfect level. Yeah. Okay. Now I'll put those two in. Just 
right? Or you do see, you other see a thick end Does and it? a thin end. See, so the oh god. <laughs> okay. So this is a radius groove keeper. So there's a little radius in there that yep. locks into the keeper groove. Yep. Some are square. Okay. LSs are all radius. They're rounded. Okay. Because you got more surface area to keep the keeper in it, and it's tapered. Thinner shot goes down. Yep. Because it's a wedge. And you're going to get the little groove, so we're going to get a little bit more pressure on it. I'll give it a little tap. Okay. And then we're going to put the other one in, like so. We're just going to bring it back up slowly, like that. Yeah, you've done that before. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a couple yeah. times. Okay. okay, so i got to go up, which is front. Front, yep. Yeah. Okay, oh, I'm not going to touch that. You know, it won't hurt you. Okay. I gotta go up more. Yeah. Okay, roll it over. Yeah, kind of center it. Yeah. Down. Oh my God. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> terrified. Okay. Yeah. Hold this so you can get it in the center. So you hold it centered. Okay. Okay, now hit it down. There you go. Okay. okay. Yeah. Keepers in. Terrifying. Does it need to go down more? No, you're in the groove. So, uh, see? So now just tap the up now, slowly. Hold it up with your finger. Is... The front one. <laughs> front, this one? Front, yeah. Yeah, just tap it. Tap it, tap it, tap it. Keep going. There you go. Did I do it? Yeah, you're in it. <gasps> Let go. And I'll lift it all the way up. There you go. I did it. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Keep going. <laughs> you're like, yep, you got yeah. 20 more. Yeah. All yeah. right. Yeah. I'm hot. I got you guys excited? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I know. Motors are exciting. Yes. <laughs> okay. So while Michelle's over there getting hot and bothered over some cylinder heads, we are going to install our springs and our little bit of shims we have here to get the right heights. These are hardened shims. Uh, especially made for the more of a racing application than your stock head. The black usually means they indicate that they are hardened. All right, folks, so now that we have our shims on, we're gonna go ID locators on top, like that. We'll belt our seals out. Now, before you internet people start yelling at me, I'm not gonna put the little condom over it. Just slowly push it down over it. If you rip the seal, you're an idiot. So, and there's no sharp edges on a radius groove, especially on brand new valves. Okay, so show you go like that. Gonna get my little trusty seal installer here that's made for these. We're gonna give them a little tap on. And we have nice positive seals, okay. You can see how the guide is machined so it holds and bites onto the rubber. So it makes a nice positive seal onto the valve. When installing these, you have to be a little bit rough, but also enough that they don't come off because you don't want them just sliding up and down inside. So as you can see inside the guide, the seal here, it has a nice rubber seal all the way around it to seal it. But it does have a press fit style to it. So it takes a little bit to put them on. It's tough to put them on by hand. If you don't have a tool like this, you can use a socket. Um, just make sure it's tightly fitted around it. So it pushes on the outside and doesn't pitch the spring. That way you don't have any problems in the future. So, okay. How are we doing, Michelle? I'm so what are you scared of? Does that one look okay? It's perfect. <laughs> Okay, this one was being weird though. Okay, you so, can so you can manhandle this a little bit. Okay. Yeah. You just need to like film yeah. the face because I'm like. Okay. So then we'll take our little trusty, doesn't want to stick. Grab that screwdriver. Did I do something wrong? No, I pushed it down when I did it. Sorry, because I was looking at an angle. So I'm just going to use the screwdriver to pop her on up there a little bit. Yeah. We're going to put the keeper groove back in here. Was I supposed to be done by the time you came back? No. <laughs> okay. We're not rushing. We're in no rush today. So I'm going to lift it back up, and we have perfect seal. 
Okay, finish the last two, yep. and then we will seat the keepers and we will vacuum test the heads. We have a completed head, okay? I don't know why you get so stressed. So stressful. Okay, so grab that plastic mallet over there. Oh my gosh, probably because I put the keepers yeah, in. Okay, so you're not gonna like this part. So first thing we're gonna do is set the keepers. And I'm gonna... Okay, so that puts some pressure up on the keeper. I used a plastic mallet and I gave it a little bit of tap, okay? You let me do that part. <laughs> no, that's fun. So now, we're gonna use a vacuum pump here. So, when I put my finger over this right here, see? Ah. So 92 is perfectly sealed. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna come over here to the exhaust port, put this on here, <gasps> and it's perfectly oh sealed. Oh my gosh. So see right here, folks, so we have a perfect seal. See, cool. so the valve we know is perfectly sealed up. So before I ship the head out the door, we know it's vacuum sealed. Nice. Okay. So when people tell me, oh, the valve job's not sealed. No, you're full of shit. Yeah. So, oops, exciting. sorry. Yeah, full of crap. So, <laughs> so no, okay, so we can do the intake also, but remember, we have a hole in the intake. So we're going to have to put our little fat fingers over that. See, it's it's sucking my finger in, mm. but see, kind of cool. That is cool. Yeah. Okay, so there you go. Yep. I, I got to, yeah. So it's sealed perfectly also. Wow, yeah. that's pretty good. So it takes a little bit minute to get everything sucked out of that bigger port. See? Yep. But pretty sealed up. As you folks can see, it's stuck. Okay, so we'll check them all. I like that. That's like, that's like a guarantee right there. Right? Get guaranteed it's right. Yeah. So there's no question, Brett's perfect. So. Of course, and I had to open my mouth. Oh. No. No, look, see, look, you got a little. Oh. Yep, there, there you go. go. That was the issue. Yeah, I didn't know. I knew I couldn't be doing something wrong. Maybe. You jinxed me. Oh, wait a minute, wrong hole. It's bouncing at like 90 right now. Yeah. Here we go. 92. Yep. There we go. I see it. Yeah. Why? Was it the hole? No, I, I didn't stick my fat finger in far oh, enough. I see it. Okay, so we have a perfectly sealed head now. So there you go, folks. Your Germ Arrow K Tech Insane Power Woo! LS3 head. Yay. It's a beautiful piece of work right here. I have to yell because my mic doesn't work. Because you don't have a mic. You woke Axel up. <laughs> Woo! He's like, what? what? The hell? <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Hey. Oh. Yay! Stretch it out. Stretch it out, bud. Good boy. <laughs> yeah. Good boy, fatty. I don't He's like, what you got? You got boxes? Got any boxes? I got nothing, bud. You got nothing? No? I'll okay. You. Okay. Cool. We have a beautiful, nice set of heads. Yep. Put the scope on this. Yeah. Okay, so we took our stock LS3 heads and we sent them off to K Tech and they CNC ported these so we could get maximum flow and airspeed out of them. And we cut a multi angle radius valve job into them. We installed bronze guides and hand honed them to fit the, the valves. We installed a set of pack springs, dual springs, that gave us 160 pounds on the seat and 500 open at full lift. And we've lapped the valve to check the positioning of our valve job. Then Michelle installed seals and springs and we vacuum checked the heads. So these are ready to go onto an engine. Perfect, ready to go. And we vacuum checked your head. And we vacuum checked mine and Anthony's head. <laughs> and and I, we're I solid, <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, we're good. All right, cool, guys. So um, thanks for watching. Uh, keep sending in your questions in. We haven't gotten any new ones yet, so it seems like Brett's answering all of the questions that you guys are having, or you're just too shy to ask. But put them in the comments below. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you guys haven't yet, see, I have that effect on people. It's my attractiveness. They, I'm very hard to. That's you know. why I got a lot over there. I was yeah. really worried. Yeah. Man. So. <laughs> um, yeah. So you guys, be sure to 
subscribe to my channel. Oh, we're not sponsored by them. We're not, no, yeah, that's no, not, no, yeah. no, no endorsements. No endorsements Zuba Glue. Glue. <laughs> if you'd like to be watching Super Glue, we will take it. <laughs> All right, you guys, so if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel by clicking right above Brett's head. And then if you missed the previous episode of Project Camera, click right over here. And if you're just looking for more awesome content from my channel, click over there. We'll see you next Monday, every Monday. Happy Bye, everybody.